So today we're going to talk about eight uh, rather important points. Uh, New York uh, has great diversity in its architecture, and we felt it was quite important that that diversity be continued. To emphasize that, as you see in the drawings, of, um, and as you can see, the variety of architecture will go from masonry to, to glass. Well, that's a stylistic thing, um, but the most important thing is that these apartment buildings and the hotel and, all, and and the office buildings will all be mixed up amongst each other, and then with regard to the apartments, um, the, they will not only be for the most rich in our society, but will also have a considerable amount of apartments admitted um, to affordable housing. Now, one of the things that seemed to us about this space is to make it exciting, to make it active. And we're very fortunate that a major media tenant has decided to take the main Tower, the focal tower of 74 stories. And so the tower that uh, we are proposing, uh, the design includes a series of three and four story atriums that are stacked vertically along the western face of the tower. But you know, what's probably most important about the tower is what takes place at the face. And we see this as a great and active and exciting place that our major tenant will help to activate in the public space. Basically, we have a, I think, a very comprehensive master plan. Uh, in the previous scheme, we just saw the tower of the age, and it's part of that. But we have green rooms, we have uh, underfloor air conditioning, we have operable staff, or a total plan. Um, open space is, uh, um, is in New York very much part of, uh, of an outdoor uh, street, or an outdoor room, or an outdoor, uh, outdoor, outdoor, outdoor quarter. One of the uh, objectives was Besides the link 42nd Street through a linear park that became sort of a new identity of a neighborhood that didn't have much of that uh, green environment, it became the gathering place, a community place, and created a district with individual blocks developed by individual developers with their own architects and creating a character of a New York City neighborhood. It is, uh, 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 it is with uh, uh, that thinking that we then had to look at how to connect New York uh, to this new environment. In, in a way that central space that uh, is sort of the core of the project bifurcates uh, into two diagonals that lead to these intersections. In fact, this diagram shows you where actually circulation co comes from, the, from uh, the train station and from uh, the sidewalks and, and feeds through a series of galleries that uh, open up the sky to glass ceilings into a great atrium and uh, that leads to the open space and sort of an urban plaza and eventually changes personalities into this sort of green space that opens up to the river. And one of the key relationships is to the high line. And in fact, this relationship, and the one, one way to make a great relationship, as we all know, is to actually engage with the social and cultural fabric of the city. And just to point out in this diagram, as you can see, things like from the commercial to the cultural facility to, in fact, a school, and then finally to an incredibly important open space are all engaging with the personality that is already the High Line. As I come south down the High Line, uh, which many of us will be enjoying very soon, I can look, di look diagonally through the cultural building to a significant nine-acre cultural plaza that turns into a well, nine-acre park that has many different personalities. But you can access this open space, or you can continue on down the High Line, past the school, around and through Bernardo's buildings to an edge, although difficult, the team has been able to engineer a series of terraces that let you look onto the Hudson River and by bridge connect to the Hudson River Park. The landscape strategy, which I won't go into in detail uh, by West A, has a great variety. At the same time, it is, it's a layered strategy that allows the layers of the railway, of trees, has a great variety of planting to three, read through the main idea, which is there are three significant public spaces. A cultural plaza, a promenade that has intimate spaces, 
and a great lawn. And this is one view of the kinds of spaces that these, this uh, hedged and treed promenade could be. So what we really are talking about is we are trying to make a neighborhood for people to live and work, a New York neighborhood which is diverse in its functions, diverse in its architecture, diverse in its uh, uh, typologies, uh, and um, one that can grow incrementally and change over time as, as the project goes forward and even after completion. Finally, what we believe um, we are producing is something that has the unity of the big development and unification comes from the great open space, the park, uh, the gateway to the river, that is how we see this as a gateway to the river, a window on the river, but also the diversity of the elements uh, that um, make this happen and will therefore attract the most diverse views, uh, the most diverse mix of people to this neighborhood and therefore will make it 